This metatainment production is brought to you today by the Samurai Aquatics and Decor MetaVenture. Scan that QR code or click that link in the description and dive yourself headfirst into the Samurai Aquatics Discord server to pleasure your peepers on our current and future range of outdoor decor. Warning, this podcast is produced by Metaverse Ventures Entertainment and contains unsolicited and heavily biased opinions which are solely the views of the individuals involved. It does not include investment advice of any kind and you are responsible for undertaking your own financial, including tax liability research relevant to your own individual circumstances. All right, in some more positive news, well, maybe it's not positive. Maybe it's down in the drolldoms again. Um, how to upland for this week is making offers, do's and don'ts. Um, we're just going to touch on this very briefly. Uh, now, keep in mind, this is coming from my perspective, and I am severely biased, and I have my own um, opinions about offers. So these are my do's and don'ts. If if you're alive in the chat and you have some of your own, please jump in. So for my don'ts, I've, I've got listed as don't make offers that you already know are trash. No, just don't even bother wasting your time. You're just getting your... You're getting your name out there in a negative light. Um, don't spam offers. Like sometimes I'll get an offer and you reject that one and then suddenly you wake up and you've got 10 more from the same person that are even trashier. So, <laughs> and the last one I've got here as a don't is don't get your underpants in a twist if and when your offers get rejected. I know some people, especially in the Upland General Chat, like say, I've been putting an offers in this guy's things for weeks and he just keeps rejecting them well clearly there's there's something wrong <laughs> anybody else got a don't for putting offers what grinds your gears cheese um like you said those bad offers or like i really appreciate if you like i'm i'm pretty well known i i hope so so if you if you really want to make an offer with me, send me a DM. I have so many people that send me a DM and, you know, I try to make it work. If it's something that you hold dear, I, I made a few um, transactions this week just by people sending me a DM and saying, hey, you know, I want to do this offer with you and we talk it out. It just saves so much time because you like, Seriously, you're going to have to be scrolling through all my properties anyway, which I have a lot. You might as well just um, send me a DM before you do it. Yes, and that was a good version. I'm sorry. I was going to say a good version, a good segue. <laughs> I'm just replying in chat and I got muddled up. So, yes, um, for the do's, I've put use upxland.me or one of the other data sites to check what a reasonable offer would be. Um, you can do it manually, like search around in the neighborhood and that sort of thing. But, yeah, um, use those data tools. People put a lot of time and effort into those, and they're very, very useful. And like Chi said, um, I've got one of my biggest do's is try to find and DM the person on Discord and have a conversation. You know, some people such as myself, I insta reject any offer that isn't front loaded with conversation. I don't even look at the details. As soon as I see an offer, um, well, I, I usually, my normal routine when I wake up in the morning, once I've done what I needed to do is I'll check the discords and DMs and whatnot. And then once that's all cleared away, I'll go over to Upland. If I go over to Upland and there's offers there, I just reject them flat out. I don't, I don't even look, especially especially at the mm -hmm. moment where I'm just getting bombarded with crap offers for legits for outdoor decor items. Um, no, mate, I've got zero interest in your, <laughs> whoever the hell it is, I've got no idea about <laughs> legits offer for an outdoor decor piece. Um, as I said, you're just kind of making a negative name for yourself. So that's all I've got to say. Um Zoe said here in chat, if offering on properties with a structure, at least include the minimum build value. Yeah, that's a good point too. Yep. There's nothing worse than getting a land offer for a property that has a build on it. Yeah, good point, Zoe. Thank you for that. So yes, I'd say the two biggest ones there are, if you know it's a crap offer, don't send it. And yeah, if you can get in contact with a person, try and do so. 